Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full drugstore tutorial. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to find like a ton of drugstore products that I absolutely love, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a bunch of really great products. There's a couple products in here that I haven't used, maybe one, I can't remember. But for the most part, I love everything and I would recommend everything. This lip is like pretty fantastic. So I decided to do kind of a chocolatey inspired look. I know I actually took a poll on Instagram a little while ago and asked people what they wanted to see if they wanted to see something like warm toned, if they wanted to see something more cool toned or green or something. I wanted to do something fall inspired. So it ended up being kind of like chocolatey. I guess it's kind of warm toned, but it's 78 in LA right now. Tomorrow the high is 86. So yeah, I'm just grasping at straws right now when it comes to fall. It's hot. It's hot as hell in here right now. All right guys, before we get into the tutorial, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below for any suggestions and your thoughts on this video. All right guys, if you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off by priming my face using the NYX Hydra Touch Priming Base. This is probably my favorite drugstore primer just because it is very hydrating, but not in like a thick way. It's very lightweight feeling. All right, for foundation, I'm using L'Oreal True Match. This is actually a new shade that they just launched. So this is in the shade Vanilla. They launched a few new shades and I feel like a lot of them were necessary. I'm gonna try to use as many drugstore brushes as I possibly can, but they're all affordable. I'm using NYX Morphe Elf BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna be applying this with my NYX number three brush. I always wanted to be a fan of this foundation, but they just didn't have a color that matched me. So it's nice that they launched a bunch of new shades. This is also SPF 17, that's such a random number. Don't forget in the fall, you still wanna be using SPF, okay? Do it. Me. Right, I'm gonna be using a couple different concealers. One of them is drugstore, one isn't a uh, drugstore, but it's also super affordable. So I'm just gonna give you a couple options. So the first one I'm gonna use is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Neutralizer. That was way too much on my forehead. <laughs> and then I am going to be using my Sigma little like wedge sponge because I couldn't find my Real Techniques makeup sponges. I have like a bunch of extras, could not find them. But the Real Techniques makeup sponge is great. It's also got that kind of like flat end and it's perfect for like underneath your eyes. So that's a great drugstore option. There are a lot of really great drugstore brow products these days, thank God. But I think my favorite one is the Total Temptation Brow by Maybelline. So I'm gonna be using the shade 300 Blonde. This is one of the best blonde brow pencils. I feel like drugstore, it's so hard to find a good blonde brow pencil. They always end up being like really, really red for some reason. All right, so for a little bit extra coverage underneath my eyes, I'm gonna be using a ColourPop concealer. They're like five bucks, so they're, su so they're super affordable. I'm gonna be using Light 16. So I'm just gonna be placing this right here under my eyes just for like a tiny bit more coverage. Um, I'm gonna blend that out and then I'm gonna be setting that with the Lux Pro Powder. This is by JCat and this is in the shade Porcelain. So many of you guys were commenting on my last video about Ozark. Like some of you were like, yeah, I feel the same way. Some of you were like, season two gets so much better. And it's like, yes, I think season two is better than season one, but it's like a book, like get my attention. You know what I mean? Like do it right. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I'm too picky. To bronze, I'm going to be using this palette right here. I didn't break it. The Golden Bronzer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's kind of like a shimmery peach and then to like a contour bronze and then like a highlight shade, but I kind of just mix them all together. And to apply that, I'm using my Morphe M527 brush. So I'm gonna use this at first to just kind of like bronze up the face. And then it also like has a little bit of shimmer. So it just kind of gives your skin like a nice sort of satiny sheen. So we're not going like completely matte. Wow, I need a haircut so incredibly badly. I don't really feel like I need blush, but I kind of want to buy some. I don't know why. I do kind of want to go in with the butter blush. This is by Physicians Formula. The only thing I will say is the butter bronzer and the butter blush, they are not cheap. They're kind of expensive for a drugstore. Like I think the bronzer was like $17 if I'm remembering correctly, maybe 15, but that's like pretty expensive in my opinion for a drugstore. To apply this, I'm using my Morphe E4. All right, for my eyes, this is the Maybelline City Mini Palette. This is matte about town. It's more on the mahogany side. Mahogany? It's like a little bit more red toned. So they're a little bit more like, this actually has a little, like a little bit of a mauve that just like remixed that stutter. Um, and then we have like a slightly more warm taupey transition shade. And then you have like a little bit of kind of muted mauve transition shade as well. So they give you a few different options. I'm actually going to start off with this guy right here in my crease to start building up. But before I do that, I'm going to prime my lids. I always forget to prime my lids. Um, this is the e.l.f. primer in the shade Sheer. 
So I like to blend it out first with my BH number no. 9 brush. It's just like a little flat brush. And then I like to go in with my finger and just pat it out. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that neutral transition shade. Um, and I'm actually going to be starting off with my Morphe M524 brush. This is just a nice, big, fluffy brush. So I'm gonna start off by like patting it in the crease and then buffing it all the way up to the brow bone. This is what I love about this brush is that it covers so much ground. So you just kind of like, it blends so beautifully and it's just like boop, like a couple swipes and you're done. If you're the kind of person who likes a one matte shade all over the lid um, or even just two, this is a great brush to have. All right, using my Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna pick up that cool toned Movi transition shade and just further define the crease. There's a little bit of kickback with these shadows when you pick them up, up on the brush, just so you know, but they blend so beautifully and they have nice payoff. So it's not like there's just a, ton of filler in it and you're not getting your pigments worth. <laughs> pigments worth sounds like a bulldog's name. All right, now using the M524 brush again, I'm gonna pick up that dark sort of reddish brown. I'm gonna focus this on the flatter side of the brush and I'm just gonna place this all over the lid, blending up into the crease. Because this brush is so fluffy, it just kind of like does the blending for you. You just wanna be careful not to pick up too much, like make sure that you're tapping your brush off and pat first so that you're not getting fallout, especially if you've done your face makeup first. All right, for my lower lash line, I am going to start off with that first transition shade on my Wet n Wild P10 brush. I'm going to grab that Movi shade on my City Color CCB 103 brush for a little bit more definition. And I'm going to focus this on the outer, like the outer half of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to finish off with that dark brown, basically doing the same thing, but keeping it a little bit closer to the lash line. All right, I do want to do a highlight. You can leave this matte if you really want to, but I can't really love without a highlight. I wanted to use a gold, kind of, but I feel like that's so predictable. So I'm actually gonna be using this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. And I'm gonna be applying that with my BH number five brush. This is actually from the It's My Ray Ray collection. It also kind of helps to bring out the movie tones in the eyeshadows. All right, I'm gonna set my face with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Okay, listen, I can't deviate from my Tarte brow gel. All right, they don't make a drugstore brow gel. They don't even make another high-end brow gel that's this good. So use whatever you like. I used to use the NYX one forever. If you are looking for the best, this is where you should be spending the money. You know what I'm saying? All right, and for mascara, I'm going in with a few coats of the Rimmel London Wonderfully Real mascara. This is my first time trying this actually. Mm. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't hold a curl at all. So that's kind of disappointing. Okay, there's definitely other drugstore mascaras that I like better than that one. It doesn't hold a curl at all. I like CoverGirl Lash Blast. Um, I also like L'Oreal Telescopic. Honestly, I have a lot of drugstore lashes that I love, but I think I'm gonna throw down some individuals. These are by Ardell. I have them in long and medium, and I'm just going to be popping them on. And for lash glue, I'm just using the Duo Dark Tone. So I'm starting off with the medium ones, and I'm just gonna kind of start on the outer part. All right, so I went about halfway with the mediums, and now I'm going in with the short just to fill in and kind of like blend into my natural lashes. For lips, I am going to be using the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is from their like chocolate collection. This actually kind of inspired the whole look. I wanted to do something like chocolatey brown. This is 70% yum. Yeah, that's red. How did this happen? Yeah, I'm not happy about this. Okay, so I found a better one. This is NYX. This is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a turn. Wow, I'm not reading that whole name. Uh, this is from NYX and it's Urban Cafe. Yeah, that's what I wanted, an actually brown lip liner. Wow, it's way darker than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> All right guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. If you guys want to see more drugstore tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if you guys have like specific looks or maybe a color series that you want to see. But let me know if you want to see videos that are dedicated to affordable makeup products. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.